And welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, the 1st of May 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today. If we look across the pond, we saw another positive session for US equities on Friday. All major indices closing at session and the week's highs. Good earnings and acceptable data being the catalyst for this move higher and has pushed the Dow and the S&P 500 as close to a bull market as you can be without actually being in one. The Nasdaq is already there, of course. Earnings continue this week. And so far, we've had 53% of the S&P 500 reporting, with 79% beating EPS and 74 beating revenue, which is a particularly good performance. US futures are near neutral in Asia, and Asian markets are generally following that US lead, at least the ones that are open. We have many of markets shut being the 1st of May or Labor Day, uh, the ASX and the Nikkei are the two major indices open in Asia, both the higher with the ASX trading around about 0.7% to the upside. European markets are closed, but the futures are higher too. And the VIX has pulled back again on that equity strength and is looking to test 18-month lows. The US dollar index is trading just above support. Gold is trading just below 2000 and copper bounced off support on Friday. All did the same, so it'll be interesting to see where commodities go this week. Bitcoin is choppy, but testing resistance to the upside. And of course, US earnings continue. We've got Chinese, the Cosby, UK, Eurozone markets all shut today. We have PMI due out of Australia and Japan, which is already out. Also later, we've got Canada and the US. Just remember, the RBA rate decision is tomorrow. Uh, the Eurozone CPI and rate decision and jobs week in the US are the highlights as the week progresses. Let's have a look at a couple of charts. And we actually like in Parenti Global, ticker code PRN. Uh, you can see the long term chart here. We actually got up as high as 135 at the back end of 2022 uh, and then took a little bit of a dive. We bounced off the 200 MA and have had a couple of tests at this level here at 126 you can see it was support here before we drop beneath it it was resistance here as well and if we look at today's action we are pushed hard against that so a move up in the first instance could be a relatively healthy six percent uh, but we see this company being really strong going forward so there could be a medium term better performance than that but one to watch for the short term in either case we're seeing yen weakness this morning and you can see since Asian Open, we had a follow through of what happened on Friday. So we're pushing up to this key level around about 90.77. If we just take this out a little bit, you can see how important this is. This was tested on the 19th. And if it breaches this, we would think precipitate some more buying coming into this. But you can see the fairly strong day already today to take us up to that level. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.